Good morning, Mystery Baker here. Hope you're having a, a good day. The sun is shining in the northeast of England and I hope it's okay where you are. I've had a question on um, this particular subject, so I thought I'd do a quick run through. It's how to calculate the ratio of Tylos CMC powder to fondant when I'm trying to, you know, change the consistency. So basically, if you're trying to change the consistency of your fondant, to more of a modeling clay kind of um, consistency. You add CMC Tylos powder, but how much? Very good question. So this is how I would kind of look at it. If I'm using 500 grams, say, 500 gram block of fondant, and I'm wanting to change the entire block to a modeling clay consistency, I would add between one and two teaspoons Okay, level, one to two teaspoons. Now the reason I say one to two is for a reason. If I'm using white fondant and I've just added a maybe, or, sorry, if I'm using white fondant or I've added a little bit of colour gel, like a baby pink to my fondant, I'll probably only need about one and to one and a half to my 500 grams. But if I'm using a pre-coloured like this black here, this, this black, it's a little wetter, so it may need up to two teaspoons. Plus, if it, you're coming from a humid environment, you might need a little bit more. Things like that, you know, the environment can, can make a difference. If you're using a 250 gram um, block, for example, the size of this black fondant here is 250 grams, and I'm wanting to change the entire block to more of a modeling clay consistency, I would add between half a teaspoon and a teaspoon. Again, because it's colored black, it'll be a lot wetter. So I probably added a little bit more than half a teaspoon. Um, or if it's humid, I might need a little bit more. It's kind of trial and error, but I'm just gauging it for you. I'm giving you some kind of guideline. Um, but nothing set in stone. Use your own discretion, obviously. Now, here's another pointer. What I do, I don't usually colour an entire block of fondant in one go. And there's a reason, because when I'm doing projects, I might start off with a little bit of white, then later on I might need a bit of black. So that black that's been set with my Tylos powder is sat to the side. Okay, it's covered in cling film or cling wrap, but it, it's starting to dry out. So I do it differently. So if I was making a dog, for instance, and I was starting with the body, I would grab a piece of fondant, the size of the body roundabout, and I would just put the CMC powder in that particular project alone and then give it a couple of minutes and then start working on it. And then I would get a piece of fondant, add a little bit of the Tylos powder to the head, leave it for a second and then start working on it. And I kind of do it per item rather than putting CMC in a huge block, setting it aside. And while I'm doing other things or I get distracted, the dog needs to go out, the postman rings. Sorry, the postman knocks usually. <laughs> but you know what I'm you know what I'm saying? You get distracted and in the meantime that Tylos um added fondant is drying out basically. So so I would literally if I was doing the a head of a a dog for a little dog so we're talking kind of that size maybe I would use the smallest amount it's just a small amount knead it through set it aside put it in some cling film if you need to leave it and then a couple of minutes and you're ready to rumble and when you start using it you can feel it because soft fondant on its own is very soft and malleable but once the CMC is starting to work, it will feel different and the effect will look more solid. So once you start creating folds and creases into it and shapes, it holds its shape. That's basically what we're looking for. Something that holds its shape rather than collapsing on itself that fondant tends to do. So I hope that's kind of helped you. If I haven't covered anything, you know, right below, 
any questions you have, I'll, I'll try my best to answer it. But that's just a very, very brief breakdown. If you live in a humid country and it's very sticky and hot, or it's a very hot, sticky day, you may need a little bit more um, Tylos powder anyway. But it's trial and error. You'll get to know how much you need. But for a beginner, they, they need a kind of a guideline. And I'm just giving you a very basic guideline. Well, thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you soon. Bye.